back already. We're, yeah, we complain <laughs> both ways. Here's Sarah with the news for us, Sarah. There's been a lot of highs and lows in this program, hasn't there? You know, we had a bit of a laugh earlier on, and then we talked about the rain spoiling things this afternoon at the racing. I'm sorry about that. And to be honest, it's actually cleared up in the last little while. That's what's so frustrating, isn't it? But uh, yes, it's been one for the sky watchers. Those who love the clouds have had plenty to feast their eyes on through the day today. We started dry, of course, with a bit of sunshine. Then this cold front came through. Look at this, just absolutely magnificent, very turbulent skies. Things are clearing up now though we did have some sunshine at points today and I think it all goes well for most of tomorrow a little bit of a fresh start tomorrow morning but there will be a lot of dry and sunny weather at first and as we go through the day yes there will be a few showers around but certainly nowhere near as wet as today and in any sunshine that UV is still going to be strong so watch out for that but we've had this cold front today next couple of days there are more fronts to come through on Friday and then we're going to draw in our winds from the northwest, a bit of a squeeze in the isobars, more of those white lines there suggests it's going to be a bit windier. But for the time being, things are clearing up after today's rain. Too late, I know, for people who are out and about this afternoon, but into tomorrow morning we're dry and we're clear. And although in our towns, by the time you're up and about 10 or 11 degrees, actually, we will have been down to six or seven Celsius in rural spots to start. But it's sunshine at first, and then it is a rash of showers moving in. Now, some of these could be a little bit on the, what I would call, pokey side which means they could be quite sharp but there are lots of dry dry interludes sunny interludes as well as I say that UV will be strong as well 19 degrees similar to what we saw today we actually did see 20 today and then we're dry and clear for a time as we start Friday again some sunshine at first but then we get some showers and then that frontal system we just saw starts to move in now look at it it is pretty wet for the second half of Friday if you're off out in the evening it's going to be a wet one for you and the temperature will come down as that rain comes in they will have been up in the high teens again that then opens the floodgates for something just a little bit fresher nothing significantly so because the sun's still strong at this time of year but more of a wind in from the northwest so as I say it will be breezier but a lot of dry weather I think through the weekend so the outlook doesn't look terrible and actually in some ways when you look at it like this as you would see it on your app you don't really notice the difference because what you're seeing is yes Friday's the day when we've got some more wet weather in the forecast and then through the weekend it's really going to be dry you might see a few showers around on Sunday but as I say there is going to be more of a breeze at the weekend in from the west or northwest so that will slightly temper the feel of things at times and what I mean by that is don't be fooled by the strength of that sunshine because even if you've got that breeze and it feels a little bit nippy here and there the sun very much will be still strong, Carol. Oh dear, Sarah, thank you. Lovely to see.